Harry Farthing, you're the chairman of uh, Middle East operations for Cushman and Wakefield. Uh, could you tell us what you do, actually? Um, I'm really here to, to help initially with the setup and then the development of our presence in the region. Um, personally, I've been with Cushman Wakefield for 23 years and in three circumstances, first in the UK, but subsequently Portugal, Spain and Italy, I've worked with really setting up and then developing our businesses on a long-term basis to become sustainable full platform service providers. So that's my role. Sure. Uh, is uh, Dubai your, your only outpost in this region or, or where are you also? At, no, at the moment it, it is, and, um, but we are viewing it very much as a first presence in, in the region with an idea that we will be looking wider into markets, um, first in the Emirates and presence probably in Abu Dhabi, but then again also wider in Bahrain, Qatar, and in the longer term you know, we have ambitions in Saudi as well. But I think it's important to say that we, we're a global company. We have a very small presence here. We have just started on our journey. We've, we've been here open for one year. We've opened at a moment when there's been quite an extreme market correction. So we have a small team. We're committed to it, but we want to feel our way in a, in a, in a fairly steady and quite gentle way and then go forward and build over time. We didn't want to rush in and then if things become difficult, rush out. We want to pace ourselves and just grow and grow into those markets where we can do profitable, profitable and needed business. Sure. Are you finding interest from some of your existing clients in other parts of the world? Oh, absolutely. I mean, one of the areas that we have seen emerging, particularly out of the the correction in the market we've got is that many of the corporates, and we're, we're a global global firm and we have very close links with a lot of the multinationals, the corporate end users, particularly of offices, but also retail retailers as well. And many of them are seeing this as a moment to really reconsider how they're using their real estate, maybe take advantage of, of the market moment to be able to achieve, obtain better premises, probably even at reduced prices compared to what they were paying 12, 24 months ago. So whereas in the wider the capital markets, the investment markets are still quite slow because they have suffered to a degree by the lack of financing, the lack of li liquidity, actually from our side, the consultancy side with the corporates, we're actually quite busy at the moment and that's, we're really seeing that take us through the, this market moment.